Hi, it's Kiffin Lebates here and video four on incentivization and blockchain. So in the previous video, we looked a bit at how the reward system for miners incentivizes the securing of the Bitcoin network. Now, that's all very well for a public open blockchain that is used primarily by individuals, but how is that going to translate across into a blockchain that is used by corporations? And the answer is it doesn't. Although it's illustrative and informative, unfortunately, the template that it provides is not a good template for corporate blockchains. And there's a couple of good reasons for this. Firstly, Companies are not in the business, generally speaking, of creating value out of nothing, of building systems where a token accretes or um, attracts value in the way that, for example, Bitcoin or gold do. Um, they are expecting that the system that is running already has that value stored in it. If you're an American company, you want to make dollars and dollars have value in America and the world at large. And then you leave the job of managing that storage of value system to the government. Now, you may, as a company, lobby the government in order to, for example, get more favorable trade terms to allow you to uh, be able to uh, transact with companies in other nations. But uh, what you don't do, generally speaking, is lobby the government in order to try and make the dollar twice as valuable in relation to other currencies. Um, in fact, that could even be counterproductive as a company because it might actually decrease your ability to engage in foreign trade. So what kind of incentives can be offered to corporations in order to work on a blockchain? And the motivations for corporations boil down to a few simple things. Uh, in the software industry, companies like to gain more users, um, gain more market share in terms of the number of people that are actually using their product because then they can get those people to pay. So that's one thing. Or shifting more units, selling more iPods or more uh, video recorders or whatever it is that you make or more licenses for your software. So um, they're really concerned in that respect about growing the market, transacting with more and more people. So it's about the number of transactions. So I think that starts giving us a key piece. It's not about creating a token on a corporately used blockchain that increases in value over time. It's about growing the number of transactions that the company can engage in. And in the next video, when I've thought about this a bit more, I'll talk about how a blockchain could provide the incentivization for companies to actually go onto it and start transacting. Uh, although if you think about it, maybe you'll come up with some ideas yourself and do put them in the comments below if you have some. Bye for now.